Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Good morning, Pisces. Hope y'all doing good today. So, the name of your reading is Patience is the Virtue. <laughs> it resonated with me so much when I was sitting here meditating. And, 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 and really what it was is I was doing my own meditation. Okay, and I was told that some Pisces could benefit from what I was having, you know, going through in my own meditation. So, I meditated for myself. And I got a few notes for you. And then I went into a new meditation for you. Okay. So, but it said that, did I go? No, I didn't. I didn't go in a new meditation. I went to a meditation for myself. And I was told that some Pisces could benefit from what I got in my own meditation. So that's what I'm using this week. I didn't do a second one. Sorry about that. That's a lie. I didn't. Okay. Um, Pisces, maybe dealing with something similar. That's what I was told. And then I was hearing breakthrough. Okay. That's my cat. Breakthrough. Waiting and receiving. Um, but you waiting and you like some of you, you're waiting on the breakthrough. Okay. And it could have been taking a while. Okay. And some you been you was receive you could have been receiving some discouraging energy from time to time. Okay. I don't know how long you've been waiting. Um, but you were waiting. And I don't know if you're still waiting, but during this time, or you could be. Some of you could be actually still waiting, okay? Um I feel like you feel bad. Like, okay, basically. So it's like you waiting on something, okay? And you waiting and you waiting and it takes a long time. So you start feeling discouraged. You know, you start feeling like, oh, it's not going to, whatever. You know, start thinking that bad shit that you ain't supposed to think because the universe can hear it, okay? But then you, you wait, you wait, you wait. And you just get discouraged and then you, you know, God shows you that he got you, okay? And then you start feeling bad that you ever got discouraged in the first place. You know, that's what I be going through sometimes. So when I meditated and I was having this, you know, when I was having a discouraging time, you know, maybe the day before the day of, and I was um, meditating and they told me that y'all could, um, somebody's going to be able to relate to this. Somebody's having a similarity that they're dealing with waiting on a breakthrough and it's taking longer than they want it to take or longer than they'd imagine it take. But what we have to remember, Pisces, is that we will be on God's time. God work on his own time on nobody else's time. He don't work on our time or nobody's time. They want him to work on their time. He works on his time. That's what you have to know about God. And that he don't never bring you this far just to leave you. That's another thing you got to know. That you're going to be okay if he said you're going to be okay. So you get discouraged and then he show you he, you're going to be okay like he said you're going to be okay. And then you get sad and feeling like, dang, I should have never doubted you, God. You know, like that. So, um, because you know God, God's grace is good. It's better than good. You know that. Okay, um, sometimes you're just impatient, impatient. That's the that, other thing. I feel like somebody, some Pisces could be dealing with impatience out there. And that's how a lot of the times maybe we say things or do things or react in ways because we just didn't have patience. And people, things didn't just move the way we wanted them to when we wanted them to. So we got impatient and just be like, forget it. You know, it's just a Pisces thing. Okay, but, and emotional. Okay, and um, I feel like he's teaching us patience. He's teaching us that he works on his time and we need to learn to wait and trust that no matter how long you feel it's taking, God has already worked it out. Okay. Um, no matter how it looks on the outside, God has already worked it out. Um, you can't see it yet. So we live by faith, not sight. Um, sight could never teach us anything about faith. Okay. So ooh, I felt that we preaching up in here today, Pisces. Woo. Okay, yes, that's a message for me too. I just got a message out my Aquarius North No reading because I just did them for y'all. So let's get into it, Pisces, and see what they got for us. I'm a Pisces moon and rising. Um, so sun and moon, <laughs> basically. Anyway, yeah, the spiritual messages for Pisces, please. Spiritual messages for my Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Okay, spiritual messages for Pisces, please. Okay, there's three. Transformation. Yes, I feel like a big transformation is happening to you. Okay, then we got the heart chakra and throat chakra under that. And wisdom. Mm. Maybe somebody's going to be saying something to you or you're going to be saying something to somebody about the heart space. 
Okay, maybe you're not um, making the best, wisest decisions right now because you feel like you're not patient. Okay, maybe because you feel like it's taking long enough, so you just feel like you ain't going to wait on it no more. Or you feel like um, it's not happening the way you want it to, so you don't want it at all. So that's what I feel for this card, that you, that's, that's, that you could be doing that, not being patient and not seeing it the way you, you just, my way or the highway in it. So that's why the choices are not wisely made because you know how we get when we get in the feelings, in the feels, okay? And then the shadow card is here, which is light and dark, okay? And I feel like you're working on balancing it. You know, and once you find your balance through it, you better make choosing wise, choosing wisely become easy to you, okay? But I feel like foundation and achievements is something that you're going to be working on here or accomplishing here. Um, you're going to be... Um, Establishing some foundation and uh, establishing foundations and thus achieving achieving goals. Okay, um, but I feel like that's a four. You're gonna be working on stability. I feel like you're gonna be achieving stability this week or the rest or sometime this month. Okay, but I feel like right now it's all of working on this balance. This balance. Okay, you just need to. I feel like some of us, a lot of us, need to work on balance. Um, balance between light and dark, between logic and emotion. Okay, and that's making wiser, make be able to make wiser decisions, choose a lot more wisely um, when you're in a more balanced state. Okay, um, so let's jump into the message, Pisces. But I feel like um, some of you have probably been choosing too wisely because you maybe let your emotions get the best of you. You know how we get as a Pisces, so then you make one decision and you think about it and you want to go back in the pocket. You know how we are. Don't do it. Don't do it. You know how we get. So I just feel like because of that, somebody, some of, some people have not been making wise decisions. What spiritual messages do we have for Pisces, please? That fell out, but it didn't. I was just trying to get the one under it. Spiritual messages for Pisces. Okay, no, no, no. no. Wait, so, Ace of Swords in the near past. You got Clarity, Queen of Wands, Four of Wands. They brought you clarity that brought you some confidence that made you feel inspired about some stability, okay? And currently, you got the Emperor. What other spiritual messages do we got for Pisces, please? Um, the Eight of Pentacles and the Magician. And the um, possible outcome, we got the Devil. Four of Pentacles reverse. The Queen of Swords and the Lovers. Yeah, I feel like. Ooh -wee. Okay, on the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Pentacles with the Ten of Cups. Oh, and the Ten of Wands and the Nine of Swords and the Nine of Cups. Ooh, so it's a lot going on here, Pisces. <laughs> That's why you need to give it to God and trust him, okay? <laughs> in the past here, we got the Ace of Swords, okay, which I feel like some clarity came in here. Brought you some confidence, some inspiration about some stability here or some, some foundation that was going to be built up. Okay, currently I feel like we got the Emperor here and the Eight of Pentacles and the in the Magician. So I feel like currently either this is you or some Emperor that you know working really hard to manifest you. Okay, or you are the Emperor and you're working really hard to manifest, to put, you, you know, putting the work in here. Maybe I feel like you could be this Emperor or your Empress if you're a woman. Um, for the possible outcome, we got the Devil. Um, the Four of Cups, I mean the Four of Pentacles reverse. Okay. Um, then we got the queen of swords and the lovers. So we'll get to that devil energy in a minute. Um, ace of swords. Why is that here for Pisces? What's this clarity? Ace of swords. For Pisces, why is that ace of swords here? The world card. The clarity. So you got clarity that you should end the cycle huh? and leave something out in the code because it was deceptive. Some possibly water or earth energy or maybe earth energy that was emotionally unavailable. Okay, so your clarity come in last, the past, in the past, tell you, hey, in this cycle, 
Leave this out in the cold. Okay? Because it's deceptive and it's no good for you. Okay? And it made you feel confident. Okay? You got confidence. Okay, yeah. Queen of Wands. You got confidence because look, there's a lot of twin flame shit coming up. And I, didn't, I don't know if this is twin flame yet, but uh, the lovers is out here twice. <laughs> okay? And the Queen of Wands is out here in the Emperor. Okay, so let's just see. So, but you feel confident about it for because of some choice or some deep spiritual connection, possibly ending or transforming. Transforming, possibly, with the transformation on the bottom. Transforming, we'll go with transforming. Um, possibly a lot on juggling, transforming a situation that was imbalanced okay four of wands okay um yeah pisces i feel like you was waiting you know so back in you was in in a cycle because you feel like you know I, I, I could resonate with this okay i feel like you was um in in a cycle you was told to leave it out in the cold because it was deceptive but guess what you, you loved it a lot Okay, so, but you felt confident about it in the cycle because you felt like it was going to transform the the twin flame shit or the, the twin flame ship or the soulmate ship. You feel like it was going to transform the imbalance and make it balanced, make the, you know, get, provide a, something new, a new platform to build stability on. Okay, um, and even though you were wounded, you've been through a lot because it was deceptive and it stabbed you in the back. You were still willing to stand up, still confident, Queen of Queen of Swans, still feeling confident and inspired. Okay, that's you, Pisces, deep feelings, but something was unknown here, or maybe something was secretive. Okay, but you still trying to manifest a new beginning with this person, even though it's deceptive, right? Okay. Even though it's confusion and it's illusion, you still seeing the potential holding up and of holding those burdens and not putting them down. So I feel like you were supposed to cut something out. Maybe I don't know you did, okay? But that's what you it was telling you. Your clarity was the emperor. Watch the emperor here currently for Pisces, the emperor. Man, this emperor could be you. Shit. It's funny because the king of pentacles, king of cups came on the bottom. And now the queen of pentacles, queen of cups is here. This definitely could be something. Let's get into it though. The emperor is coming out with this um, star card. And guess what? The emperor come out clarifying the emperor. Ooh. The emperor is waiting on his ships to sell in. He waiting on his ships to sell in. Okay. Because he has a wish. He has a hope. He has a star maybe it's a wish fulfillment and he's waiting on his ships to come in because he wants a future and a new beginning working really hard to do so because nine of pentacles want fruition eight of pentacles why is that here it's an emperor in this thing girl i mean man or her woman man i don't know if it's not if it's no one if you a man you um it's the empress and if you're a woman it's the emperor but I feel like this Eight of Pentacles is you working really hard to stay in your ground here. This is you currently. So whatever this is, this is for y'all dealing with that back and forth. You know, not y'all that done walked away and gave up. Sorry, but I'm just saying. That's, ain't nobody, if you walked away from your twin flame and you ain't said you don't want him or her, you ain't dealing with this tug of war stuff, I don't think. But look at that. You standing your ground. You standing your ground. You are working really hard to stay at your ground. And if that's not you, that's your emperor. Or your Empress, or you are the Emperor, Empress. Just, I don't know. We saying that you the Emperor, Empress, okay? So you working really hard to stand your ground and have this new beginning here. You got wishes and you got dreams and you're working really hard to go have a new beginning, okay? And I feel like you're standing your ground and you about to take a leap. But you're being really strong and you're headed to take a leap of faith. Possibly moving. I don't know, some brand new beginning. But I feel like you're feeling victorious about it and you're going to be rewarded. And I feel like... I don't know. There's look. There's clarity here. I feel like your thoughts are clear. The magician. The magician. Now maybe you just now walking away. 
and you're supposed to close that cycle. Yeah, I feel like you're walking away and, and, and it's stressing you out. You thought about it longer, hard, and it's heavy. And you and you confused, but I feel like you 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 I don't know. That's that's you. This is restricting, but it says walking away. It looks like some of y'all have been struggling just now walking away. Um just been stressed, okay, but you're restricting yourself. Okay. What's this um eight of cups? Or are you walking away from restricting yourself? You're walking away and restricting yourself because you're tired of the tire moments. It's not funny. I feel like you're seeing people for what they are situations, but you got a new beginning and a leap of faith. You girl gonna take the devil. Somebody could be trying to manifest you back. Oh man, somebody could be obsessed with you and want to marry you. Oh my God, they could rush in here impulsively and say some shit. Like, rush in here fast and impulsively because we got the night of swords in reverse. Maybe they could be drunk or not themselves, but I feel like somebody's obsessed with the devil and they want a higher level of commitment. They want to marry whatever this hill is. Because this is, this is, no, no, let me go back. This is the God card and this is the devil. Somebody lying about something. Somebody lying about something. Somebody lying about something. something. We're about to put these to the side real quick. So we about to clarify. What's this hair font? No, we ain't even about to do this, do it with this deck. We gotta get a whole new deck for this. Cause somebody lying about something. Why is this hyperfine here? What's the, we're gonna ask about what's the hyperfine and what's the devil? Cause God and the devil showed up together in the possible outcome. Something wrong there. Somebody trying to trick somebody or something. We gotta see what's up. Look at that. There's the hyperfine. Why is the hyperfine here? I was just looking at it as, oh, this person's obsessed. But then I realized the hierophant is the God card. And the devil is the devil. The hierophant. Why is that here? And why is the devil here? fortune on the bottom and judgment okay so when i clarify why is the hierophant this is what we got okay we got the we got the hangman okay that's give, finding a new perspective and this is also finding a new perspective i feel like the god is here in the devil okay i know that sounds a little creepy but it should be it should sound a little creepy but i feel like god is here to try to give you a new perspective in a new way that's not so heavy. That's not so burdensome. He's trying to show you how to put these burdens down and find a new perspective. And the devil is trying to manifest you back. Possibly somebody toxic is representing the devil. Somebody. That's why I said, I, I don't know. I feel like this is too. What is this guy? What is this devil in this hyperfire trying to tell us? Why is this devil in this hyperfire here? The devil wants disruption. I know that. The devil like to lie, steal, kill, destroy. And God don't want that. God don't, don't want that for us. So they really kind of freaked me out a little bit. That's why I'm sitting here shoveling the hell out of all these cards. Like, what is this? Death. Three pentacles. I feel like, yeah, something is over. The tower. That's why I said they got the tower, the moon, and the two of pentacles. But I feel like God is freeing us or something. 
But this is going to take a lot of, I don't know, um, intuitively. Because we got the devil is overindulging, manifesting, but holding back and keeping secrets. That's what the moon signifies, secrets. The God, God is balanced. The devil is secrets. But the tower moment is throwing a shift. Everything's coming apart. Everything's coming down. But we are needing to find a new path, a new direction. And put the burdens down with the Ten of Wands. See it in a new way. Okay? So that's what I got for that clarifying. But the devil got clarified by... No, because see, look, this is what we're going to ultimately... The devil is ultimately a card that was out here. So it's clarified by the Hierophant. So like maybe the devil might come in here and try to pretend um, irrationally come in here saying stuff, you know what I mean? Oh, I've changed. I've, I got spiritually acknowledged. I'm, I'm doing godly things when they really toxic and devilish just to get an equal give and take and, and sell away the common waters with you. Somebody could be trying to trick you. Okay. In order to get you to, to stop holding back or to put your guard down and stop restricting yourself from the situation. Why is this four pentacles here reversed for Pisces? Somebody's trying to trick you. My mind's playing tricks on me. But I feel like, yeah, your decision is made. You already decided to restrict yourself. Four Pentacles reverse. I feel like this person is coming in here saying stuff to try to get... Look at that. The devil is here again. He come out again trying to... And then he coming out like he with temperance. That's God's, that's God's people. Not, not, not a devil. But that's why I said you already see that's why I said you ain't in no crossroads. You know what the fuck going on is what this is. You were restricting yourself because you know what the fuck going on. You know this ain't no calmer waters. This is a four and the two. That's the six of swords reverse. You know this ain't no motherfucking calmer waters while this person trying to sell there. Coming in here, devil, trying to pretend like he's something other. Yeah, because you know what the fuck going on. You're not putting no work into the situation. Three pentacles reverse. Ain't gonna be no balance. You cutting that shit right out with the queen of swords. Queen of Swords, why is that here for Pisces? Whoa, that is, this is not what I expected in this read today. Yeah, you like, what? I'm not going this, nowhere with this motherfucker. Ooh. Judgment. Good, Pisces, I like this. Judgment. Judgment. Uh -huh. Judgment. I feel like this is you saying, uh-uh. You, I feel like it could be no communication, but you cutting this person out. And you don't see the, the potential with them. You know, and you're not, or maybe you don't see the, the what's this page of swords reverse for Pisces? Yeah, you making a decision or you didn't. Maybe you in an illusion or confusion and you, you too focused on the wrong thing. I feel like you could be focused on the wrong thing because it's confusion and it's been a long time. And I feel like maybe two of swords, two of wands reverse. Yeah. Being stuck. But nobody's cutting, being stuck and without an invest, no investment. Okay. Judgment can't be made. I feel like. Let's just see. What is this Queen of Swords going to do? Celebrate. And not move forward emotionally with this person. So you cutting that devil shit out. And you choosing. What's this lover's card here? The Pisces. I feel like the devil's trying to get in your head. Look, you choosing some kind of love. Lovers, why is that here? For Pisces. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I just feel like this is over. Whatever this person, they gotta go. 
Because it, it does look like that you're choosing. It's too true. You could choose yourself, though. You could just choose you. Or you could choose this. Two of Cups. When this person come back talking like they really godly. When they really still toxic. Apologizing. Because all they bringing is, look, a Ten of Swords, but it's in reverse. So all it is is an ending that's still going to happen. But all they doing is holding it off a little longer. And holding you from your past. Your path. Your brand new beginning. So you that's why you got to move forward, okay? Because luck is on your side. And justice is rolling with you. You already assessed and reassessed. It's time for you to have fruition, okay? You ain't got to be dealing with no in and out player energy. Put them burdens down. Follow your intuition to happiness. Retreat from the situation and leave it all alone. Okay, you gonna get your ten. Of, you told me you gonna get your ten of pentacles. It just probably ain't gonna be with this motherfucker. Cause uh, obviously you did your work. Okay, this person you did your work to come up out your little vibration. This person don't want to do their work. They just want to come and act like they did it. The sun card came out in reverse, too. Ain't no happiness with this person. Ain't no happiness. And that's why God is showing up. To give you a new perspective. So you can stop looking at it like you're going to get any happiness out the situation. Because you're not. This is going to be tired moment after tired moment. Selfish after selfish. And you're going to be stress after stress and back to walking away after walking away. So go and take the leap of faith. Be strong and hold the damn ground. That's all I can say. But let's get you some um, advice out here from this uh, car here. These animal oracles. What messages do we have? The Pisces, please. Spiritual messages of advice for Pisces. 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 Bottom of the deck. Turn knowledge into wisdom. You've been down this road, Pisces. You've been through this all before. Use your knowledge that you learned. Just keep it, make it wisdom, okay? Know that that spirit has a plan for you. Okay, sometimes life does sting. Okay, but just know that spirit does have a plan. Know that this and that are true. Yes, at one time, this person, you probably did consider them a wish fulfillment. You probably did share good times and good chemistry, but... Now, you see them for who they really are. So this and that, both are true. Okay, then we have all these. Trust in divine detours. I feel like you could have been having a hard time trusting because maybe it's not happening how you want it to and what you want it to. So you make making poor decisions. That's why it says choose wisely, but it's in reverse because this whole situation is out of control. Okay, and it's just believing yourself, and I don't feel like you're doing it. I don't feel like you're believing that you could bring this in fruition, that you could bring somebody good, that could, you could have chemistry with, that could treat you like something. Okay, and um, open up to infinite possibilities. I feel like you are, you're, you're closing yourself off to what could be, by, and not believing in yourself by not trust, trusting in the divine detours. Know that God knows better than you. He knows this world better than you. He knows what's best for you better than you do. So you just have to trust it. Okay, so you're just needing to trust in the divine detours, believe in yourself, and be open to endless possibilities. Okay, don't see things the way you want to see them. You think, oh, well, things have to go this way because this is the way they have to go. No, be open, okay? Because if you're closed-minded, then you might close yourself off to something good. Okay, so with that being said, Pisces, that's what I got for you. I hope it resonated. If it did resonate, give me a thumbs up. Comment on it, leave some feedback, okay? Share it. Um, Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. And um, that's what I got for you this week. See you next time. And until then, namaste. Peace out.